Hello, and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 102, with me, Craig Barton. Now, something a bit different for you this week. Usually, on Resource of the Week, I feature a resource that can be used in the classroom, but the eagle-eyed among you will notice that this week I'm featuring a Mark book, but not just any Mark book. This is the Ultimate Excel Mark book, and it is freely available on TES, created by Mr. Tom Powell. Now, just before I talk you through this resource, I'll just give you a bit of background about what we do at our school for recording homework scores. Uh, we have a secure shared area um, on the school network, as I, I assume most schools do, and we have a data spreadsheet for each of our year groups where we put all their homework and test scores on there. Um, and every two weeks when we set a compulsory homework, we each record our scores out of 10 or 20, whatever they may be, on the spreadsheet. And I'm going to be entirely honest with you, it's a fairly meaningless activity because uh, when it comes to parents evening or writing reports all we can really do is look back at this spreadsheet and say things like oh uh, Tony's got an average of uh, 70% and he's missed two homeworks and this was a particularly dodgy homework and so on but to get any real insight you've got to go back to look what the homeworks were about you've got to analyze it for each individual student and it's a bit of a pain well I'm now going to be using the Ultimate Excel Mark book because it's not going to take me any extra time to do, but it's going to give me a whole new level of insight. So let's take a look at it. Uh, firstly, the author has kindly done a few screenshots of the, the kind of stuff that you can do with this uh, Mark book. But better than that, and I think it's a really nice, act, uh, really nice idea this, in the files included, there's a blank one for you to use, but also there's an example class just so you can see the kind of insight that you can get. So here's the example class. Imagine this is a year 11 class or something and you'll notice straight away that you've got to input excuse me you've got to input things like target grades and that's fine and then you get the classic rag rating that you get on a lot of Excel spreadsheets. The grade boundaries tab just in case you're panicking here you can set this to be whatever you want so we're all actually we can all be set for the brand new GCSE here by putting levels 1 to 9 in there and we're, we're good to go if, you, if you're feeling brave enough to assign level boundaries for, for that. Um, you then uh, copy your kids in as normal additional information all that kind of stuff and then these along the top these are your, your type of data that you're recording so you can record assessments, homeworks, coursework, uh, whatever, whatever you want on this one. And then the insight comes, and it all comes through this view menu thing. Now, I should say at this point, you've got to enable macros and all that uh, stuff that you have to do regularly if you want to use some fancy Excel spreadsheets, but I promise you it's completely safe, this one. So you click on view menu, and if you want to add a, a student or remove one, that's the easiest way to do that. But the most useful thing is this, individual analysis. So if I click on that, and I pick my uh, first student here, and I click create summary sheet, then what we get here is a lovely individual summary sheet that prints off beautifully and that's got on it there the target grade which remains constant it's got the pupil results so we can see how they go up and down I love this the class average because that's that's often important that how is the student doing relative to the class as opposed to how they're doing um, on their own and then you get a nice little summary of all the different um, homeworks or whatever assessments that they've done how they're doing relative to their target grade when the homework was set and what the uh, description what was it all about so it's just a just a, a lovely piece of kit this. I'm thinking when I'm going to use this and straight away two things are springing to mind. Parents evening and reports. The, the two banes of my life uh, where I end up spending a load of time scrabbling around for data. Well not anymore. If I, if I stay on top of filling this in then I can just print off those uh, individual sheets and then I've got my parents evening sorted with actual meaningful stuff I can talk about and school reports. And I might even give uh, a copy of each of those individual sheets to the parents as well. So hopefully this is something that you might find useful. I know there's loads of uh, variations of mark books around and I know some schools are obliged to use certain things. But if you have the opportunity to use this or even just try it out, I'd strongly advise it because it's just such a slick system. And it just works and it, it just does a job without costing you any extra time or money. So hope you found that useful. And uh, I, th I think I'll be back with an actual teaching resource next week. But I hope hopefully you didn't mind that particular little diversion. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.